Hello everybody, it's your boy Wheezy F Mamba and the time has finally come, baby. Big patch note day for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game has arrived. Tomorrow on November 28th, we are first officially getting our first DLC update. Added map, new characters, etc. We all have seen the news. We all have seen that 250 plus bug fixes and balance changes in the works uh, from the Muerto Times that was released a couple of weeks ago where they kind of teased everything that they're doing. The patch notes are officially here, guys. Let's go ahead and get right into it. No bullshitting about. Let's take a peek. Hell yes, dude. Yeah. All right, check it out, y'all. The patch notes just dropped by uh, Miss Silva um, 17 minutes ago, uh, 20 minutes ago now, now that I've started uh, with Wes just retweeting them. Guys, let's get right into it. We're gonna read everything word for word and we're gonna go ahead and give our opinions on things and then we can't fucking wait for tomorrow. Let's get it done. Here are the patch notes for November 28th, 2023. The following notes <clears throat> are for our upcoming November 28th, 2023 patch. It is scheduled to begin rolling out on console and PC at roughly 2 p.m. Eastern United States time, which is 11 a.m. Pacific time where I live. Hell yes. Uh, we called it. We predicted it. 11 a.m. Patch notes fixed. Nancy's Trappler's. We already have a Nancy fix. Guys, Black Nancy officially being released tomorrow for 9 dollars and 99 cents united states dollars that is um, alongside danny a victim for the same price uh, let's get into it we have fixed an issue where nancy's traps did not trigger any notifications okay that's a big fix um already off rip gotta make sure that works okay fixed various footstep audio the following audio issues have been fixed in this patch Footsteps from players in the tunnels can be heard above ground on Family House. Huge, dude. How many times this this afternoon stream? I literally had this happen to me. Um, phantom footsteps can be heard while standing in front of the Family House. Okay, didn't know about this. I don't think I ever noticed this, but I have noticed that you can hear people, and it goes for the garage on Slaughterhouse as well. You can hear people walking below ground when you're above ground. Not good. Okay, great fixes. Fixed translated character bios. We have fixed an issue where the character bios for Connie, Leland, Julie, Cook, and Sissy were not translating to players' selected language. Okay, big as well. Fixed disappearing ladder in trophy room. We have fixed an issue where a ladder in the trophy room on Nancy's house disappeared after using it. Wow, trophy room. Um... What do you guys think that is? Trophy is a real good term for like livestock kill. Um, or do you think it is trophy room as in their victims that they've killed? Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section. Check it out. Let's move on. Fixed. <clears throat> Man, this is a big ass page, guys. Nancy's trap outlines. We have fixed an issue where Nancy's trap shows a hologram outline. Huh. Okay, um, maybe the victims were able to see where she placed the traps, kind of like family vision. That's what I feel like that means. Um, so that's fixed. <laughs> fixed. I'm coming for you achievement. We have fixed an issue where the I'm coming for you achievement would unlock without meeting the requirements. What even is that achievement, guys? What is that achievement? Let's check it out real quick. <clears throat> What is that achievement? <laughs> Sorry, if you guys didn't know, there's that's one that has been fixed. And it's one of the ones I got extremely early. As Hitchhiker, use one gap, crawl space, and ladder in the single match. I unlocked that like day two. Looks like day something. Cool. All 
right, well, that's fixed. Um, okay. There you go, guys. That's the achievement that's fixed. On to the next. <clears throat> fixed various execution animations. The following execution animation issues have been fixed in this patch. Victim models ragged all too early during Hitchhiker's I'll Take That execution. During Hitchhiker's You Hear Me execution. Nancy's weapon isn't aligned with the victim's neck during her roadkill execution. Roadkill. Victim's model ragdolls during the second hit of the cook's stick it to them execution. Okay. That's good. Nice little just quick fixes to take care of some of the UI problems that we have in the game. Fixed. Various Johnny animations. We have fixed an issue where Johnny's footprints would disappear abruptly when his special ability ends. Footprints will now fade away over time. We have fixed an issue where Johnny wasn't looking at the floor while using his special ability to follow victims' footsteps. Okay. I got you. I don't think you have to stand when you have it in the right skill tree, so I'm not sure what this means, but uh, this definitely um, is great because there are many times where I was Johnny and I would try and track people's footsteps, had to go around a gap, and they'd be gone. <clears throat> All right, blood reflecting flickering on low graphic settings. Um, assuming PC rated related, we have fixed an issue where blood reflection flickered. Blood reflections flickered in the gore room on Family House when using the low graphics setting. Okay, go. Cool. Mud pile asset not appearing. We have a fixed an issue where mud piles were not appearing on the Family House map. Really, yo, this is crazy, right? What mud piles were we even talking about? Uh, very interesting. Okay, great. More fixes. This is huge. Everything that gets fixed or added to the game is great for the for the game. Okay, inconsistent range when listening to noise from items. We have fixed an issue where there's an inconsistent hearing range when players went over the noise thresholds while searching for a lockpick or bone pile on Family House. Now, when too much noise is made when grabbing a lockpick or searching a bone pile, the range the sound can be heard is consistent between the two. Wow. Okay, great. So if you're, what it means is, is you're actually, when you're spamming that button and that tool is making that <laughs> noise, or the same with the bones, it um, will actually be loud. The range will determine how far you are. Instead of like, if I'm super close, I'll hear it. If I'm super far, I won't hear it. I'll only see the ping. Cool. Fixed various audio issues. The following audio issues have been fixed in this patch. So sorry. Various ambient noises on Nancy's house ending abruptly. Sound occlusion is the same for a closed and open garage door. Passing the noise threshold when collecting a bone scrap can be heard through the ground. Yep. All the time. Audio missing in the recordings. Recording the saw behind the scenes unlockables. Great. I did see that there was a few audio files missing from when I did the unlockable video. Awesome. Audio from outside cuts off from outside. Cuts off when inside the barn or family house near the front road. Audio for the gates on slaughterhouse cannot be heard. Okay. Spectating, spectating lockpicking audio. Fixed. We have fixed an issue where players would hear a loud boom sound when spectating a teammate completing the lockpicking minigame. Fixed. Voice chat drops in lobby and match. We have fixed an issue where voice chat isn't functional in both in the lobby, in both the lobby and during the match when using push to talk and on settings. Fixed. Family stun locked after close encounter and sneak attack. Yes, huge. This happened to me today on stream. You guys saw this. I was officially stunlocked as cook this morning um, after a Julie stabbed me in the back when I was grappling a Connie. Couldn't play the rest of the game. We have fixed an issue where if a family member is sneak attacked after losing a close encounter, they were stunlocked and unable to attack or interact with the environment for the rest of the match. That is amazing. I can't believe this is fixed right after I had it happen to me this morning. Fixed. Camera angles and crawl spaces. We have fixed an issue where the camera would focus on the character's legs when a victim player stands up after going through a crawl space. That's awesome, dude. 
say something so small like this, let me see through my POV. You know what I mean? Not my legs. Great, great fix. Character ability XP gain. We have fixed an issue where players would see negative one for their character ability, as well as showing that no XP had been gained. Also happened to me this morning. Absolutely wild. I took a screenshot of it where I was, I loaded into a match and I was negative one cook. Very cool. Fixed text chat, not working in lobby chat when using mouse. We have fixed an issue where text chat would not work when clicking the text box with a mouse. Okay. Fixed intro crawl text issues. The following intro crawl issues have been fixed in this patch. Crawl text does not play when starting up the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Crawl text would cut off too early. Okay, so the crawl text is literally where that guy gets on the microphone and says like, in Muerto, Texas. And then you get the Star Wars effect of the crawling yellow text at the beginning of the game. You load it up, movies, just think of it that way. Uh, there was an issue with that apparently, and that's been fixed. Uh, no valid user ID yet error. We have fixed an issue with the log, blah, 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 blah. No valid user ID yet showing up in the logs. Great. More fixes. Huge. Various crashes. Oh boy, this is big. The following crashes have been fixed in this patch. Game would crash when a family member reconnects to a match after disconnecting and being sneak attacked. Server would crash if Danny was a playable victim in a match. Game would crash after exiting out of the title or using Alt F4. Okay. So that doesn't really fix the DC problem when somebody DCs when they're getting killed and breaks the lobby. I was hoping to read that um, something, but maybe it's further down. Executed victims. Peer alive in spectator mode. Yo, this whole time, guys, it's been like stupid small. I'm very sorry. Uh, we didn't get too far, so I promise to have it um, up a little bit farther. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no valid ID. There we are. Okay. Executed victims appear alive in spectator mode. We have fixed an issue where a victim disconnects and gets executed upon rejoining. The victim appears alive in spectator mode. Never, never noticed this. Okay. Invalid credential errors after one hour of gameplay. We have fixed an issue where some players would receive an invalid credentials error after playing continuously for over one hour. Okay. Invalid, really? Continuously for over one hour? That's literally every time I play this game. Fixed. Foliage popping in and out of family house. We have fixed an issue where some foliage and environmental assets would pop in and out, potentially exposing hiding victims. Victims unable to move after traversing ladder on family house. We have fixed an issue where if a victim drops down the ladder in the blood bathroom or room on the family house map, the blood bathroom, I guess that's the blood bathroom, family house map and climbs up it again, they would get stuck when reaching the top. Um, I think I've done that before and I never noticed that I got stuck, so kudos to me, I suppose. Fixed family house assets being climbable. The following climbable objects issues have been fixed in this patch. Players able to climb over a blood bucket in Leatherface's lair. Players able to climb over a chair in the side garden tunnel. Never knew these. Never knew these existed. But cool. They're fixed. Fixed. Players getting stuck on a door. We have fixed an issue where players will get stuck between the door and assets next to the walls and basement storage on Family House. Okay, so a wall fix, you guys know that. We've sent in multiple videos of us getting stuck in the environment. Fixed, safe spot, silencing nugget on family house. I wonder if I can do this in dark mode, guys. Give me a sec. Nope, okay. Fix an, an issue where if a victim stabs the nugget near the windmill at a certain angle, they would land on top of the wooden box asset, rendering them unhittable. Yo! I never knew this. That's crazy. Where the fuck's the windmill on this map? On Family House. Am I tripping? Have I never seen a windmill? Is it in the backyard? <laughs> Anyways, cool. Fixed. Fixed. Bottle clipping into a health potion on Family House. We have fixed an issue where a bottle was clipping into a health potion in the sitting room. Okay. Very cool fix. 
bottle on or fix blood on family members family house we have fixed an issue where blood on family members appear golden in the corner of the bone room okay blacked out newspaper texture we have fixed an issue where the newspaper on the floor of the bathroom of the gas station map has a blacked out texture something so small yet so cool car battery on gas station we have fixed an issue where the car battery in the backfield area was misaligned with the car. Okay. Stuck spots on gas station map. The following stuck spots on gas station have been fixed in this patch. Players would get stuck on a mattress in the house basement while crouching. I've been there. Players would get stuck on a wooden pallet when silencing nugget at a certain angle in the camp in the compound area. Players would get stuck on a log in the compound area. Okay. Lighting issues on gas station. The following lighting issues have been fixed in this patch. Lighting in the kitchen area appeared to flicker and be pixelated during the day variant. Kitchen area lighting caused shadows to flicker on the walls. Light leaks in the kitchen area when traversing the gap from the kitchen to the living room. Lights flicker on the wall in the barn area. Okay. Great fixes. These are going to go quick. We're just going to kind of bang through these. Um, all UI fixes are great for the game. Players floating on gas station map assets. The following floaty bits have been fixed in this patch. Players would appear to be floating on the branches in the exterior area near the road exit. Players appear to be floating while sprinting against the edge of the stair railing in Leatherface's lair. Surface collision missing on gas station. We have fixed an issue where the surface collision on the main road area is missing and players would sink into the road textures. Never noticed. Illogical hiding spot on gas station. Look at all this. We fix an issue where victims would be hidden in a spot in the exterior area next to the workshop, despite it being exposed and well lit on the day variant. Night variant is logical and unchanged due to the shadow presence in that spot. Okay. Shadows fading on foliage and trees. We have fixed an issue where shadows appear to fade in, to fade in when running towards foliage and trees on family house map. Light bleeding from Leatherface's chainsaw. We have fixed an issue where Leatherface's chainsaw sparks from hitting a metal object. Those sparks could be seen under the walls. Very cool. Lighting issues on Slaughterhouse. The following Slaughterhouse lighting issues have been fixed in this patch. Lighting was illogical on the wall and roof of the Slaughterhouse corridor. Lighting was illogical in the meat inspection area. Incorrect location name on Nancy's house. We have fixed an issue where a room was labeled as exterior between the North Tunnel and Trophy Room. Okay. Bone and skull clipping on Slaughterhouse. We have fixed an issue where the bones and the bone and skulls of a barricade were clipping into the wall in the West Tunnel. Stuck spots on Slaughterhouse. The following Slaughterhouse stuck spots have been fixed in this patch. Players would get stuck on the mattress in the garage area, which I've done multiple times. Cook and Hitchhiker would get stuck in the wall if a fuse didn't spawn in the cutting room. Cutting room. Okay. Invisible collision in bushes on Slaughterhouse. We have fixed an issue where there is an invisible collision on the bushes outside of the garage area. Various textures. The following textures issues have been fixed in this patch. Texture of a rusty metal sheet in the south tunnel on Slaughterhouse appeared as transparent on one side. Textures loaded in slowly on low setting at the beginning of a match. The face grinder execution not present. We have fixed an issue where the face grinder execution was not present in the execution selection menu. Okay. Stamina boost regen within, when a victim disconnects. We have fixed an issue where stamina regeneration boosts for all victim players close to a victim who disconnects. Wow. Broken. Uh, glad that's fixed. Engine.ini file edits to remove foliage. We have fixed an issue where players were able to change the engine to remove and adjust foliage. Those files have been strengthened to combat exploitive player behavior. Can't remove foliage. We already learned this from Saber. Shout out to Zarko. <laughs> uh, victims bypass a fence to collect the bone scrap on gas station. We have fixed an issue where victims players were able to traverse to the opposite side of the fence near the garden shed to collect a bone scrap. Wow. Disconnection exploit. We have fixed an issue where players would disconnect from the internet while moving in order to not receive damage from attacks, break chase, create a distraction, or to scare victims out of hiding spots. Disconnected players will now stay in place upon disconnection. 
Wow. Somebody literally was it figured out how to team standby. Does anybody remember team standby from Halo 2 days? Where we would fucking literally, I mean, come on, that standby button? Man, dude, those were the days, bro. If you remember Halo 2 and its glory days, let me know in the comment section. Door slamming dead victims for XP. We have fixed an issue where family players could repeatedly door slam a dead victim for XP if executed in a doorway. <laughs> Never knew that. Players gaining double XP with spectator mode. We have fixed an issue where players were granted XP twice when they immediately left spectator mode after entering it. Okay. Audio bug with fuse door slam. Fix an issue that made the fuse box door slam fuse box door slam sound not triggered. Door slam. Fuse box door slam. Are they talking about when you open it or can we close it now? Um, I don't think I understand this one. XP earned despite disconnect. We fix an issue that would cause family members to not earn kill XP if the victim disconnects during the execution. Okay. Redirect to platform store. Fix an issue causing the link to the store page not to function on some platforms. Party voice chats. We resolved an issue that would cause voice chat not to work properly for some party members. Okay. That's huge. Um, we've been wanting this since the tech test. <laughs> voice chat has always been bugged in this game. So huge. Spectator camera drag, improved responsiveness of camera switching between spectator different victims. Huge. Push to talk stuck. Fix an issue that would cause the voice chat to be stuck open even when PTT is selected. This issue occurred most when exiting the pause menu. Okay, various minor UI and HUD issues. The following UI HUD issues are fixed in this patch. Typo correction and victim condition level three. Part of spectator UI remaining visible in pause menu. Network error box that cannot be closed without restarting. Fixed placeholder text and loading screen tip. Missing max level indicator when reaching level 99. Victim portrait corners are darkened when escaped or disconnected. Various minor UI issues. The following UI issues are fixed in this patch. Unlockable videos stuttering on some platforms. Rebinding keys cause skill tree video to not causes skill tree video to not show button icons. Keyboard not showing on certain platforms in certain modes. Entering spectator mode sometimes removes button functions. Several visual bugs and ability tree menu. Freezing briefly when exiting skill tree full screen mode. Performance mode option showing on inapplicable platforms. Placeholder videos on some platforms and unlockables. Placeform text and saboteur perk description. We placeholder text. Loss of function if party host starts matchmaking while others are in menus. Party leader disconnecting while on menu does not disband party. This refers to main menu disconnect, such as due to outage or interruption, not leaving a match intentionally. The party should disband here so that they are not stuck. The bug causes certain party members to be stuck in party. Player level showing zero after a disconnect. Delay in a character in character delay in character and map icons updating after returning to lobby post match. Okay. Text typos in end user license agreement. Missing executions in menu. Native platform invite missing in custom lobbies. Hitchhiker's bloody skin missing from cosmetics menu. Invite delay if attempting to invite too quickly after creating a custom lobby. Guys, we're not even halfway done. Strength attribute distribution. Description now includes barging doors as affected by strength. Oh. Very cool. Missing localizations. Fixed a few missing localizations for text and menu headings, etc. Hitchhiker 3 Trap Insta Kill. We have fixed an issue that allowed the hitchhiker to place three traps next to each other, resulting in instant kills of victims. Wow. You can no longer insta kill, huh? Not that I ever wasted three traps in one spot, but. Very cool. Spectator camera issues. We have fixed the following spectator and camera relation related issues. When switching to victim and basement to spectate, camera becomes displaced. Delay going into spectator mode. Chat and scoreboard soft lock. We have fixed an issue that would cause the game to lock up if chat was open while viewing the scoreboard. Slaughterhouse out of bounds. No! 
Fix an issue that would allow users to climb a fence and exit the slaughterhouse map into unplayable areas. This was so much fun to do. <laughs> saboteur perk and fuse box. We have fixed the saboteur perk to now affect the fuse box, as it is stated in the perk description. So now, instead of just the generator, it works on the fuse box. Right shift rebind. You can now properly rebind the right shift key. Chat key. You can now rebind the chat key. Fix an issue that would prevent players from purchasing new characters on certain platforms. Party invite unavailable. This issue was causing issues inviting players when different crossplay settings were being used. This issue would lock up follow up. This issue would lock up follow up invites even if the settings were changed. Okay. Visual bug with character levels. We fixed a visual bug that will not show a fully maxed out character as having a full yellow progress bar. Huge in the menu, that always bugged me. Visual bug with earned skill points. We've fixed a visual bug that would show total SP earned from custom lobbies. Skill points are not earned in custom lobbies. There you go. Temp white box for player icon. This fixes for a white placeholder box for players icons while they are joining a custom lobby. The little circle, great. No cell and rather leather face revved up attack. We have fixed an issue uh, causing no cell to not properly trigger when being hit by a revved up chainsaw. Extra drip perk fix. Oh no. This issue caused the extra drip effect to never end if a victim was healed by a teammate while healing themselves. This perk will stop pop, will still pop in healing events, but no longer gets stuck on. Wow. Thought it was gonna be <clears throat> thought it was gonna be a big nerf. Choose flight stutters. Yes. Thank God. Resolved an issue causing a stutter or laggy appearance when using choose flight. No more rubber banding when switching stacks. Fuck yeah. So far the dub of the patch. FPF drops when returning to main menu. We have fixed an issue causing an FPS drop when returning to the main menu from the skill tree and cosmetic screen. Flickering leaves. Fix an issue where some leaves would flicker and flash when certain settings are used. Failed to join party reinvite. We have fixed an issue that would prevent a player from being reinvited if they failed an invite due to any network error. Next match dropping party. Fix an issue that would sometimes cause the party to exit to main menu despite party leader selecting next match. Connection issues disabling party creation. We have fixed an issue that would clock up party creation due to intermittent connection, issue, connection issues. Connection issues disabling matchmaking. We have fixed an issue that would lock up matchmaking due to intermittent connection issues occurring when creating a party. Next match join lobby solo. An issue that would cause a party member to abandon their group when selecting next match has been fixed. This is why we get disbanded. This is now fixed. It's never gonna throw us in a different lobby now, dude. Fuck ya. Yeah. Custom lobby failed to launch. We have fixed an issue that would disband a custom lobby group if timer reaches zero. Nancy's house, car collision. Fix an issue, an invisible collision near a car in the junkyard section of Nancy's house. All right, junkyard. That's big. Does this mean that we're not getting the junkyard map Nancy's house is just the junkyard map that we had leaked. Not we, not myself, but that had already been leaked. Perfect. Nancy's cosmetic descriptions. Fix some placeholder text on Nancy's cosmetic options. Leatherface concept art unlockable. Fix the description for the Leatherface concept art. Nico Teller leather, Nico Taro Leatherface volume cross space de destruction. The volume the Nicotero saw was too loud on crawl space destructions. The volume has been for this interaction has been lowered to match. Okay, that's great. Windows key rebinds um, allows rebinding of the Windows key. Alt key rebinds character blacked out on some platform builds. The team has resolved some issues that would cause elements to be blacked out on platforms and builds. Grandpa perks unequip. We saw this one in the Muerto times. Fixing grandpa perks so that they stay equipped from match to match. Missing foliage. We have fixed an issue that would result in missing foliage during the end game scene on some platforms. Haptic feedback inconsistent. The teams have fixed the haptic feedback so it is more consistent. 
No cell disabled after being trapped. Fix an issue that would make no cell not function as intended after stepping into a hitchhiker trap. Multiple XP events. The following XP events have been fixed. Recovering health above 50 appears when healing is canceled. Nancy's abilities not rewarding XP appropriately. Danny is awarded. Danny's is awarded tampering XP when it shouldn't be. No XP is awarded when Danny inspects and it should be. Recovering health above 50 is triggered. Ah, oh, sorry. When no one is healing, no healing is used. Okay. All victims killed triggering despite not killing all victims. All victims killed triggering despite not killing all victims. Okay. XP is warded twice for killing at the gallows. Wow. You get two gallows kill, you get more XP. That's been added. Fix an issue that would log interactions if a victim tries to use well after stepping in a hitchhiker trap. Well connection disruption. An issue that would cause a character to get stuck if connection was unstable when using a well has been fixed. Missing voice lines. Added in the missing voice lines for when a victim exceeds noise threshold in min mini games. Very cool. Some new voice lines. Victim stamina bonus. We have fixed an issue that was awarding a stamina bonus to victims incorrectly. Blood trails. We have matched up the victim blood trails across platforms. Crapperberg's UI. An issue has been fixed that causes the grandpa perk icon to not be highlighted as active if the level has been skipped by ex excess feeding. Very cool. Visual bug, but a great fix because it always made us wonder. Did it actually pop or can we not double feed to make it to where he goes two levels? Very cool. Car crawl stuck. Fix an issue that would cause a victim to become stuck if they crawl through a car and step in a hitchhiker trap. Trap bias. We have fixed an issue where victims could bypass a trap if placed too early, too closely to a traversal. Okay. Hunt, not canceling properly. Johnny's hunt ability should seize when the hunted victim is executed. This has been fixed so that the ability functions as intended. Sunny's ability in minigames. We fixed an issue that would silence the minigame audio if Sunny's ability is active. Okay. Skill tree resets. The skill tree issue causing it to reset unintentionally has been fixed. Very cool. Yes. That's great for everybody that had that problem happen with them where you log in and everybody's a level zero again. It's been fixed. Leatherface connection disruption. We fix an issue that would make Leatherface unresponsive if connection is interrupted during a destruction event. Tourniquet fix. We know about this. We read this in Muerto to Times. Tourniquet is no longer going to be able to be used to troll and hold games hostage. Pick the noise migrators and hiding spots. Fix an issue where the noise indicator would not stick to victims after bursting out of a hiding spot. This is related to the change that pings stick to victims when making noise. Must have been the wind. We have fixed the perk. Must have been the wind to function with the new design change to noise generation. This is related to the change that pings stick to victims when making noise. Twinkle toes. Um, same thing. New design due to the change to noise generation. Quick exit. Fix the quick exit perk. Danny. Yo, we have a perk named quick exit. So it no longer resets crawl spaces opening progress if family members leave proximity. Resets crawl space opening progress if family members leave proximity. Very interesting. Spotter. The only sunny exclusive perk. We have fixed an issue with the spotter perk that would increase the range unintentionally. Second wind, fix the perk where second wind to function as described. Efficient backstabber will now work when stabbing grandpa. Very cool. Fusebot cursor ID issues. We have fixed an issue that would lock up a cursor on screen after completing the fuse box puzzle. Nicotero blood splatter. Fix an issue where the Nicotero Leatherface shirt uh, would not get any blood on it when executing victims. Door destruction. If Leatherface starts the animation of destroying a door with a saw, it can no longer be opened during the animation. Okay. 
This issue was caused by another family member opening the door just after Leatherface selected to destroy it, resulting in overlap. Missing idle animation. Fix the missing, missing idle animation after Leatherface overheats his saw and after an overhead attack. Previously, Leatherface would appear still without his usual idle. Wait. So are they nerfing, nerfing overhead attacks? Or was this already not part of the game? Very weird. Ladders and hands. Fix an issue where hands would not appear properly aligned with ladders when in use. Victim restraints. Fixed an issue where if a victim is hit before getting out of their restraints, they would fall and then pop back up into the restraints. Now, if hit before escaping restraints, victim will fall normally and stay free. Trap victim gate bypass. Fix an issue where a victim could bypass locked doors and gates by becoming incapacitated by a hitchhiker trap. Hitchhiker trap collection. We fix an issue where the hitchhiker cannot collect traps if they were too close to a certain interaction items like ladders and doors. Okay. Victims incapacitations and hiding spots. Fixed a really weird bug where if the victims use a hiding spot and exits due to incapacitation, then a second victim does the same thing on the same hiding spot. The first victim instantly dies. To the one person who might have experienced this, you're welcome. <laughs> I love that. Sissy stun lock. We have fixed an issue where Sissy would become permanently stunned if hit by a victim exiting a hiding spot. Wow. So if they burst it out of a, like, let's say a closet, it would permanently stun Sissy. Grandpa detection. Fixed an issue where grandpa would detect victims who are moving inaccurately at higher levels. This issue is detecting victims for smaller amounts of time at higher grandpa levels. Victim traversal lock. We have fixed an issue where victims would get stuck in the traversal animation on gaps when entering the gap at the same time they are snared by barbed wire. Nancy. Ghost victims in North Cell. Fix an issue where a victim who escaped from the driveway exit would have their character model appear in the North Cell on Family House. Guess what? This also happened to me today when my fucking, I escaped as Connie at the, at the road exit and then I found somebody. My body was downstairs. It was crazy. Very cool. Invincible victim in crawl space. We have fixed an issue where victims would be invincible if connection is interrupted while they traverse a crawl space. Safe window jumps. Fix an issue where a victim would not take accurate damage if connection is interrupted when jumping through a window. Torn apart execution. Issue that caused the torn apart execution for Johnny to not have any audio. Unlock tool. Fix the alignment of the unlock tool on certain doors when victims are picking the lock. Healing while disconnecting. Healing, fix an issue that would lock up a player vi victim player if they are experiencing connection issues during healing and ally. Stuck in animations, where a player would become locked in an animate in interaction animations if connection is interrupted. Locked on valve pickup, where a player would become locked if experiencing connection issues while gathering a valve hand. Fix an issue where victims who have disconnected cannot be carried by Leatherface. Fix an issue where victims who have been disconnected cannot be carried by Leatherface. Now we can carry disconnected players. Great. Fix an issue where the grapple animation would persist if the players disconnect and rejoins. Victim attacked while discount disconnected. Fix an issue where if a victim is disconnected while interacting with a mini game, then attack, they cannot move while rejoining when rejoining the session. Okay. Camera control. Fixed an issue where players would lose camera control if experiencing connection interruption during the restraints mini game. Valve progress and rejoin. Fix the discrepancy in the valve progress shown to players who disconnect and rejoin. Loading screen loop. Fix an issue with an infinite loading screen title screen loop if a player accepts an invite while in certain menus and tutorials. Cook idle crash, where cook begin being kicked for idle would crash the game for the cook player. Fixed an issue where cook players would experience a game crash on load into the gas station map. Gallo spectate crash. Where the game would crash if the players is spectating a victim being killed on gallows and exits to the main menu. 
Healing traps. We have fixed an issue with the damage modifier for hitchhiker traps that would unintentionally heal victims. This upgrade to the trap ability will now function as described. Okay. Camera on Johnny. Fix an issue with the camera becoming misplaced on Johnny after he steps on an active cattle grid. What is ability active? Restraints animation. We have fixed an issue with the animation for the restraints minigame for the female victims. That would appear as if they were detached halfway through the minigame. Scaling issues. Fixed an issue with scaling on certain platforms and systems. Hmm. Frame rate issues in basement. Fixed an issue that would cause an inconsistent frame rate in the basement near Leatherface spawn. Loud Leatherface feet. That would make Leatherface footsteps sound too loud at longer distances. Wow, that's a nerf. Yes. Keep that. Yes. That's a buff to family. Stuck spots on family house uh, been fixed. Victims become stuck on the bushes in front of the family house. Become stuck at feeding grandpa on the bone room side. So close. Fix the so close achievement trophy that it will not pop at the fuse box escape door is closed. So can we close the fuse box door now? Turning off a valve. Fix the bug that would allow family to turn off the pressure valve too quickly by using their ability while interacting with the valve house. Character outlines when making noise. We have changed how character outlines function when triggering noisemakers. Players who make noise will now have a red noise outline attached to them for a few seconds. Making noise with bone charms, nuggets, bone piles, door slams, and toolboxes will be affected. Sliding metal doors will not. <clears throat> this is intended to incentivize stealthy play. Okay. Mute all option. We have added the option to quickly mute all players in lobby. Great, thank you. Auto crouch toggle, already talked about this. I don't like it, but to each their own. Nancy's house, valve take locations. The team has incorporated feedback from the slaughterhouse map to improve Nancy's house. Victim abilities at match start. Victim abilities will now start the match with a 60 second cooldown. That's huge, especially against Anna's and, and Connie's. On it and Leland, sorry. Okay, hitchhiker traps and pressure valves. We remove the safe zone in front of the pressure valve so that the hitchhiker can trap the device. Yo, let's go. Smoke room. We have an elect added an electric gate to the smoke room exit. We have also closed the gap between the smoke room and the side room. Wow. So they didn't get rid of the cheese door. You can still go for it, but there is an electric grid behind it which means you still have to kick the gen regardless. Hiding invite codes. We have made invite codes able to be hidden. This should be help reduce unwanted sharing of the codes. Very cool. That's huge for us streamers. Valve pressurizing after close. When family closes the valve, it will now build pressure back up, reducing victim progress towards the gate opening. This should have been done day one. VLT, we have changed the behavior of the lobby timer depending on how many players have hit ready. If five out of seven players in a lobby hit ready, the lobby timer will drop to 30 seconds. Absolutely massive for content creators who play the victim side. This is huge. Grandpa awakened cutscene. We have removed the grandpa cutscene. It has been replaced with a simple banner notification. Leatherface requirement. We have removed the requirement for Leatherface in every match. This change does not affect anything other than the requirement. Maps, barricades, and family spawns are, are unchanged? How? How is it unchanged if there's going to be a cattle grid now um, at Cheese Door? How is Johnny going to get into the map? I'm confused. Did they even think of that? Gas station fuse and fuse box spawns. We have changed the spawn location for some fuses on gas station. We have changed a few spawns for the fuse box itself as well. This should help present, prevent scenarios where fuse spawn, fuse spawns near a fuse box. We have updated and fixed some of the localization of character bios. Cook's seek ability. We've already talked about this. Um, his ability should now drain while searching for noises. His ability should now continue to drain while focusing on sounds. 
map waiting in back end. We have opened up controls on the back end to adjust map waiting. Examples, we can now make Nancy's house weighted above the others. This can help make maps come up in rotation more or less frequently. Wow. That's very cool. We want a 24 seven brand new Nancy's house. Various telemetry data events. Telemetry data can help the team balance the game as designed. This will help us more accurately balance parameters based on data. We've also disabled some unneeded events to present to preserve performance. The following parameter parameters can now be tracked more accurately. Specific character and specific noise trigger, time spent matchmaking, time spent in lobby, time spent in match, customization elements and popularity, platform details for network error events, match abandoned, family dis disabling fuse box, perk levels at match start, and the ability levels at match start as well. Very cool. Gallows kill XP. We have raised the XP earned for a gallows kill above the standard XP for an execution. We have added a notification for the gallows kills when earned. Okay. Saw volume. We have adjusted the volume for the Nicotero saw. The volume of the saw has been increased to bring it more in line with the default saw. Fuck. RIP. Cook tags, durations. This is a reduction of the amount of times victims will stay tagged. Sprint attack. We have further tuned Johnny's lunge when attacking and sprinting. This brings him more in line with the other family members. Cook seek counter. We have adjusted the seek ability to not detect victims who are crouched and moving slowly. Nancy's ability and spotting bonus. Spotting. Refine the spotted at victim bonus to be more accurate when Nancy activates her ability to avoid potential spam XP farm. Wake up grandpa. We have adjusted the threshold. For waking up grandpa it should now require slightly more noise to wake grandpa up on the victim side auto wake up events will still wake him up normally big johnny's hunt counter we have adjusted the hunt ability to not detect victims who are crouched and moving slowly slaughterhouse balance we have made various changes to slaughterhouse in order to balance the map valve pressure tanks moved upstairs and out of the basement Moved valve handles to pick up locations to be further from the tanks. Slaughterhouse building door can now have a padlock in it. Yo! The sliding door can now have a fucking padlock. Holy shit. Yo, added nuggets to slaughterhouse building and facilities. Sensitivity defaults. We have made minor tweaks to the base control sensitivity. Prey, drive, and cook, seek. Previously, Cook could activate the Prey Drive perk by simply hovering over a victim. Now, Cook will need to fully spawn the victim for Prey Drive to activate. Pins and Needles perk. We have tweaked the Pins and Needles perk for Nancy to be more in line with other perks that feature a percent chance to keep an item. Security Pins. Adjusted the Security Pins to only affect Cook's padlocks. Slaughterhouse Escape Volumes. We brought the Escape Volumes in towards the cattle grids on Slaughterhouse Escape Gates to limit trolling. Why only just slaughterhouse? Okay. Well, jump iframes. No, no way. Previously, victims can be hit multiple times on their way into a well, creating various issues. Now being hit on the way into a well will only damage the victim once and then force them into the well. Ah, thought it was saying when you crawl out, when you get up and you land, there's always that iframe when you're on the floor. Damn it. We have reduced the haptic feedback slightly to not feel so excessive. To report any and all existing uh, or persistent issues, please use the support site. That's the patch notes, folks. An absolute unit. We will be linking these in the chat. I promise you, multiple wins towards Slaughterhouse. There is a lot of random fixes that we didn't know even were a thing, uh, which is great because you always want to make sure um, to fix even the smallest of things in your product. Um, so super happy about that, dude. Guys, this is it tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The DLC will be dropping. We will be covering it on my Twitch channel around 4 p.m. tomorrow after I get off work, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Don't also forget to like and subscribe the video 
and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are 405 followers away from um, the second part to partnership. We're already a partner here on YouTube. It's been an absolute dream for you guys creating content for you and all the love and support that you've shown on my Twitch channel and YouTube channel for the last year has been amazing. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. That is it, guys. That's the patch notes. Almost an hour long video. Let's get it done. Make sure you comment down below what your favorite patch is, what your favorite bug fix is, um, what haven't they figured out yet? What did they miss? Let me know. Drop a like on the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we will see you guys on that next video. Peace out.